Welcome to another video of SyncPrix. In today's video, I'll be talking about the Virtual Switch Manager in Hyper-V. If you click here on Virtual Switch Manager, here you can see the default switch is available here. Virtual machines are by default connected to this particular switch. So if you click on new virtual network switch, you will see these are the three options. If I explain you what is happening here, so these are all your virtual machines. If I make the connection or if I establish the connection only between them, so these will be private. So with my laptop, so if these machines are internally communicating with each other, so this network will be private. But if I want these machines also to communicate with my laptop, the switch that I'll create will be internal switch, which means that machines and laptop, these both will be communicating to each other. So this will be internal. But suppose if you have the Wi-Fi router here, so right now if it is connected to your laptop and you want these machines also to connect to the Wi-Fi network, so in that case, you will be creating the virtual switch called external. So external means that external to this particular laptop actually. So this particular, these particular virtual machine, this will be external. Internal will be that these machines are communicating with this laptop only, but they are not able to establish any connection outside. So which means that this router or this network, I can have multiple uh, devices connected on this network. So if I create an internal connection, so my virtual machines will be only communicating with this particular uh, host machine. And if I create an external virtual switch, so my machines through the laptop, of course, through laptop virtual bridge, they will be able to communicate with all other machines on my network and they'll be able to communicate on the internet as well. So now I am sure that you get a better idea that if I create a private virtual switch, so private virtual switch will have the communication only between them. If I create an internal virtual switch, so internal switch will help to communicate between these machines and the laptop. And if I create the external virtual switch and I assign the external virtual switch to these machines, so these will be able to communicate with the, with the laptops or desktops other than your host machine. And they will also be able to connect to the external network or they will be also able to connect with the external internet. So if you click on new virtual network switch, you will see these are the three options. And at the same time, if I show you my network adapters here, you can see these are all the network adapters right now available. So I have my USB-C network, which is my wide network, which is disconnected right now. Then of course, this is Oracle Virtual Box. I'm also using Oracle Virtual Box. This is my Wi-Fi network. I'll show you what will happen once I start creating the virtual switches here. So new virtual switch, external switch will in fact be connected to or bridged to one of my physical network cards here, which will be either my uh, wired network card or wireless network card. And through this virtual switch, communication will be possible. So DHCP on my Wi-Fi network or on my physical network, which is wired network, will be giving the IP addresses to my virtual machines which are here. So we'll first of all start creating it. I'll create a new virtual switch. I'll give it a name, Syncrix external, for example. And right now it is saying that to which external network you want to connect. I'll be using Intel Wi-Fi 6 uh, Wi-Fi adapter, which is right now here connected already. And I'll just name router. Okay, the router which is already here on my network, this will be giving the IP addresses to my virtual machine. So I'll create it. Now you'll see here, the moment I start creating here, it will also start creating a network bridge, which will then create the virtual switch here. You can see here, this is virtual Ethernet switch called SyncBricks external. This network bridge, bridge is connecting Wi-Fi and my virtual switch. And if I go here, and I'll just restart the networking here. So I'll system CTL and restart network manager. And if I see here IP address, uh, we'll be able to see that there is no local IP I'm able to get right now. 
on and if i try to pin any external site so it says temporary failures so i'll first of all connect this of course with my external network here which is sync Bix external and here i'll go back again and restart the network here and now if i see ip address so i'm getting the ip address which is 192.168.100.182 and this is of course the same range that i'm getting the ip address on my host machine as well and if i try to ping you can see here the response has started coming and it is of course connected to my network so i created this external switch external virtual switch which is right now connected to my wi-fi network using the bridge here now i'll go back again here and create a new virtual switch based on internal so what will happen here and what it will do i'll explain you that so if i create a virtual switch it will be so it will have an internal network between these virtual machines and my host machine so this is the internal network which means that my host machine and the virtual machines will be connected to each other so it has not created any bridge which means that this is this particular network is totally isolated from other networks but not isolated from the host machine which means that this is my host machine and this is connected here with my virtual machines also now if you see here if i assign this if i go here to networking and instead of external if i provide it internal and apply now you will see here it will not communicate and if i try to restart the networking also to get the new ip address also it will not get the ip address because there is no dhcp right now on internal network neither my laptop is right now giving the ip address and if you see here it is unidentified network and if i click here also there is no ip address so i can have this particular server for example as a dhcp server which means that this ubuntu server will start giving the ip addresses to those machines which are of course connected to internal uh, virtual switch and that will also give the ip address to my host machine so i'll be able to communicate with the virtual machines also and virtual machines also will be able to connect to my laptop but they will not be able to connect to external networks and they will not be able to connect to the internet and now we'll talk about private if i click on private and create a virtual switch now what does this mean that this particular virtual switch will be private between the virtual machines only so these virtual machines will not be connected to the external network and these virtual machines will also not be connected to the host machine so they are totally isolated from host and from the external network and there will be networking between these machines only if they are connected to private virtual switch so once i apply it nothing will happen here because it will not create any bridge here so this particular bridge and this is for the external this is for internal this is how your private internal and external virtual switches are created and connected on the hyper v environment so to create this of course you'll be using virtual switch manager and here you can see external internal and private these switches are created hope this video has helped you to understand the hyper v virtual switch manager so see you next video take care and goodbye